Hello everyone, my name is Shadow and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So in the previous episode we started this new base, new playthrough, and in this episode I think we are going to go to space and mine up some platinum and uranium maybe even. So first of all I think we need to find some silver and to make it easily we are going to make a large ship detector and plop it on this one. That will look hilarious, but it will be practical. Well, that was easy. Gold and silver. Easy peasy. So, yep, now we got every resource that we can find on the planets right nearby our base. Let's mine some silver, let's mine some gold, let's make a medical room. And after that we can start working on a small grid space miner. And now we just wait for everything to refine. Yeah. Right, while we are waiting, let's do... What what blocks do we need to build? We, of course, we need a medical room. Okay, it's not in this group of blocks. Where is the medical room, I wonder? Okay, right here it is. So, it's in the, it's, it's in the same group of blocks as the crouch. I mean. So I guess we are building some medical room now. Let's place it right here. Or where? Let's see, where, where does it have... Okay, top and bottom. It has transfer ports on the top and the bottom, so I guess... Yeah, this seems like a good location. Oh, wait. Like so. Perfect. Now we just weld it up. And make the components. Perfect! The respawn, or I mean medical room, is done. We can respawn here, we can heal up here, we can even change our costume in here. And here we go. Oxygen tank, hydrogen tanks are made here, and they are full. Perfect! And my miner is full too. So now that we got pretty much everything out of the way, I think we should start working on our space miner. Woohoohoo! I put the basic framework for the ship in place. I think drills will go right here somewhere. And I might also add some O2 H2 uh, converters, generators, whatever it's called. Let's see. Gen yeah, generator. Because engine. Yeah, this thing is called as engine. It's called an engine. So yeah, I will I might put some generators here too, just to be safe. While I was planning out the ship, I also put some components to build to assemble in assemblers. And yeah, now I can just grab them and go and weld some more of the ship and no need to wait for, for me for them to assemble. So yeah, that's what efficiency is. Talking about efficiency, this stuff I have, I might be able to upgrade everything that I have to level 2 or 3, I don't know what level it is, but yes I can. Here we have it, all welded up, now we need to add some drills, some devices like spotlights, lights and also detectors, antennas, stuff like that. Right, after that we can probably start painting the ship and adding the hull to it. And after that we are going to the space and we are going to mine stuff. Looking good. I even installed a pew pew gun on, on it. Looks nice. Right, I guess I'm going to now start working on the hull shape. I hope I can figure out something nice for it. It's a pretty big ship. I introduce to you Carpas mining small ship. Took me a while to build it, but I think it was worth it. I will paint it a little bit later, but it got some nice functions on it. So let's wait for it to refill and recharge a little bit. I don't think we need ammo right now at the moment. I guess I'm going to just grab some ammo with me and the gun. For now, 
Yeah, I'm not planning into getting into any conflicts right now with any drones. So yeah, let's grab this. We will probably also grab this detection module. Uh, grab your weapons. Here we go. Perfection. Look at my glowy rifle. Just flexing on everyone with my <laughs> skin. Or whatever it is. Suit. Right. Let's see. I think we should have enough charge right now. Let's let's just Yeah, 18 minutes should be enough. Right, let's grab this detection module and go detect some asteroids. Hopefully we can find some uranium and platinum. I will paint it later, no worries. Also might publish it to workshop, it looks nice. Right, let's let's align and dock. And uh, perfect. Docked. Right. So I guess let's disable these thrusters and off we go to the space. I would like to inform you that we made it to space. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Right, let's go to an asteroid. This this one seems pro seems promising. Let's go there. Oh, what a beautiful sight! And can you imagine? It's still raining in real life. What the heck is going on with the weather? It should be sunny and nice. It's summer. Almost summer. Like, five days until summer, but what the heck? Okay, let's detach the scanner module and uh, go back to the base. We are approaching the asteroid with eyes and they also added some H2 generators on the sides at the back and it looks kinda better now, even with them. Here we go, some eyes. Let's drill it now, and uh, we can refill. Right, not going to slap into anything, so let's just maneuver into the position where we can mine and uh, harvest some ice. Here we go, ice, nice. And let's mine it. Nicely done, nicely done. Is the fill refining? It should be hopefully. Is it refining? Let's see. Where is it? Hydrogen tank. Yeah, it's refining for sure. Just slowly. Oh, here we go. Didn't take me long. We found platinum. That was easy. Now we only need to find uranium. And after that we will be done here in space. I'm going to waypoint this asteroid and not mine platinum yet because I don't have the storage for it, I have it filled with ice, plus I don't want to make myself super heavy and make the task of exploring harder. So yeah, let's just see what else can we find. And another platinum asteroid, and what the heck is wrong with Triton? I don't know. Uranium, please, I need uranium. Time to refill on ice. We just ran out of it and we are not finding any uranium yet, so I guess another bunch of ice in the storage and we can fly even more. Yeah, putting this H2 generators on the ship was definitely a right decision. Um, what? Somehow I destroyed the ore detector? I don't know how. Weird. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Next asteroid I visit, I find uranium. <laughs> That's amazing. Right, so now that we got the fuel refilled, we can, we can probably just eat away all of the ice. Oh. oh, wait. Yeah, I disabled this filter, then we should add probably ice to it. Yep, here we go. Ice is getting created. And now we just wait until we are empty. Oh, this is so satisfying to look at. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is satisfying. Okay, the ship is fully finished, fully painted. It's looking absolutely awesome. 
screw wind turbines. It's nuclear power time. Oh baby! Here we go! Power restored. Well, the Carapace won't get any ion engines or a nuclear reactor because it's a starter, kind of mid-game, mid-start ship and I'm going to keep it like that. You go to space and you get reactor and other stuff with it. And after this one we are going to make a new better miner and we also should do some work on the base and we also should start working on a large grid ship. Yep, so we can travel around. But that will be a project for multiple episodes because that ship will be not too big but also not too small. Got some more magnesium. Time to make some more ammo. Uh, so I uh, guess let's go a hundred this and a hundred this. Okay, and now we just wait for magnesium to refine. It will take a while. Well, I tried building a rover. It it's kind of meh. It works meh and I can't really come up with a good design for it. I also tried to build a speeder, uh, which didn't go really well. I accelerated like crazy and crashed it. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm not the best at designing land vehicles. Yes, I'm going to stick with spaceships for now. But actually, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you enjoy it, I will publish all of the ships on the workshop eventually. Oh, game starters, weird. I will do that eventually, I don't know when, but that will happen eventually. In the next episode, I don't know, we might build a base, we might start building a big ship. <laughs> game is pretty much not really the most exciting thing in single player. If I find a good server to play on, oh, another starter, weird. I might join it. We will see. Ouch. But yep, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode of Space Engineers. Goodbye!